Hello everybody, it's Dr. Bam again. This is the Unit 3 Concept 20 support video for child guidance. Um, in this question, I'm asking you to look at um, preschoolers in Eric Erickson's Stage 3, or the stage known as Initiative versus Guilt. So I want you to think about this stage and think about what can we do in our environments, in our early childhood environments that we set, to help preschoolers accept responsibility and develop independence. So I wanted to talk a little more about the stage. So in stage three, the preschoolers are really influenced, um, whereas in the last stage it was primary caregivers, parents. Um, while parents are still definitely a source, this stage can be influenced by siblings, um, extended relatives, and others that the child is coming in contact, so youth ministers, um, uh, coaches, things like that. And so what we are trying to develop, and, and, and like the last stage, it's a line between initiative being on one end and guilt being on the other, and you falling somewhere in between initiative and guilt. Um, so do you have a lot of self-initiative, a lot of self-motivation? developed out of that autonomy versus self-doubt, right? Or do you have more guilt of, oh, I'm always in the wrong, um, and all of that. And so we're looking at how do we foster these skills? We need to, to foster initiative, we need to reinforce uh, letting the child have the freedom to choose, having the ability to play, encouraging the use of imagination, um, so limiting things that are not interactive and maybe stifle that imagination, um, asking them questions and uh, creating curiosity and creativity and getting them to really construct and build and, and all of that. Um, we are looking at children ages four um, till about six or seven um, for this stage. Um, the other end of things is that guilt concept, and this is going to occur uh, when there is over-criticism, right? So uh, the child attempts to fold a towel, and uh, they fold it, but it's all, you know, cattywampus. It's not a perfect, nice little square. And they're criticized for that instead of uh, praised for taking the initiative to try to fold the towel, right? Um, or you take a child's artwork and you're like, oh, well, that's good, but you forgot this or you didn't add this if they drew a, per per a person or something like that. Um, another way to end up on the guilt side is to prevent play um, where there's, there could be almost a fear of play or there is anger related to play, right? Um, and remember, this is not a one event thing. This would be a continuous thing. So giving uh, children an opportunity where play is not um, allowed, is not going one time, ten times, is not going to be, it's going to be that constant prevention of play. Um, so, you know, thinking about teaching environments, when we're constantly saying, okay, because you did this, we're not going to allow you to run outside and have that free outdoor play, or we're not going to, you know, instead of doing that, we're going to sit at our, our desks and work on this worksheet or read a book, right? Just sit there and look through the pages of book if they can't read. Um, that would be that prevention of play, that technique that may be leading to uh, per creating that guilt feeling within a child or, or having that child resolve more towards the guilt side of things. Um, discouraging questions. Why are you asking so many questions? Don't ask me questions. Don't, you know, that is... Because this is their, their period of, like, curiosity, right? The four-year-olds who are always like, why, why, why is the sky blue? Why does grass grow? Why does this happen, right? Um, so why do we not want children to come on the side of guilt? Um, if they do land in resolving that crisis, right? This is Erickson's theory is that they have to resolve the crisis, and that's where they'll land on the line. If they land more towards the guilt side, they may feel, always question themselves or say, uh, do I do something wrong? Am I being wrong? Am I not doing this correctly? Um, they may not have that want to go out and explore and find and do and, and challenge themselves to try new things and all of that type of stuff. So we do need to have a balance of it. 
we do want some guilt in our lives, right? Because if we were guilt-free and it was all initiative, we wouldn't care what we do to others or to the planet or um, uh, it would really damage some of our relationships. So for, in es essence, is that guilt, you know, we want that self um, internal clock to say when I take something without buying it that's wrong because I didn't earn that right it, instead of being if you were all initiative you'd be like yeah good for me I, I got this thing without paying it for it right that's that's not correct that's not moral and so initiative is a good thing but it does have to be balanced um because um, we do want to really give that moral judgment and and i will tell you that kids in this stage are all about morality about right and wrong and they will be very black and white in their morality um, developmentally so let me know if you have any questions and i look forward to seeing your answers